Hey YouTubers, Blink DIY here again. Uh, just about to install a master cylinder from Willwood in my 68 Camaro. Um, some of these Chevy vehicles, when you have a brake booster, the master cylinder sits up at quite an angle. <clears throat> so recommended by Willwood is to block off the drain hole from the front reservoir to the back reservoir. I'll show you what I the actor recommend just uh, using some JB Weld. So I mixed up some JB Weld. That's the, I'll light it up in there. That little round circle there. Goes from both sides. So what I did is just stuck some JB Weld inside of there. Took a little razor blade and just uh, smoothed it off so it's nice and clean in there. And let that cure so the reason that you do that is so your fluid out of this reservoir doesn't drain back into this reservoir because this thing's going to sit up at an angle I'll show you what i mean here got a digital angle meter so that's the booster so that this thing shows the angle see if you can see that going to be up at about 12, a little over 12 and a half degrees up at an angle instead of, instead of being level, which level would be way down there. Oh, went past there a little bit. Anyways, that's pretty close to level. So you can see how much, how much of a difference there is from level to that. It's, there's a probably a half inch gap there. So anyways because that's going to sit at an angle <clears throat> the fluid level in this side would never go above that or it would try not to and sitting at an angle if you started leaking the fluid from this reservoir to this reservoir you're probably going to end up with a leak because that uh, that fluid is going to basically overflow the back, the back reservoir the other thing with these is they have plugs these things have uh, ports on both sides of the of the master cylinder so depending on what your setup is or where your lines are going to go they have plugs to plug the other side off make sure you put them in they recommend torquing them between 20 and 25 foot pounds let's see if you can see the washer there's get it to focus here there we go you can see the washer in there that's a sealing washer it's like a compression fitting kind of idea so you have to torque them properly to stop that from leaking there's one on the other side as well this is the side that I'm using for for my proportioning valve the lines are they come with very nicely bent lines for that proportioning valve to connect to the master cylinder so what you can see here is I've got my bench bleed kit installed so what you do is just these just need to be hand tight fairly snug hook the lines on they have a clamp there that'll hold these on so you can see what i'm doing here it's a little bit finicky with one hand here but anyways that just clamps onto there what you want to do is make sure your lines sit just just off the bottom of the master cylinder and then when you go ahead and bench bleed i built a bracket here because i didn't really want to clamp the nice new master cylinder in there so i bolted it to a bracket um don't need to have one of these either you can use a punch or a screwdriver but had this around forever <clears throat> just kind of ground to simulate the push rod from your brake master or from your brake pedal into the master cylinder so I'll be able to use that to it's actually just it's the perfect length to to depress the master cylinder so just not quite ready yet as, as soon as that uh, JB weld sets up I'll get some brake fluid in there and 
bleed that and then I can get the master cylinder installed and bleed the brakes on the car. Hit that like and subscribe. Bye.